Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan from Harold Ziegler in Granville. It's my buddy Nick, hey Russell Stofers. <laughs> He's going to show you some things about this 2011 Dodge Journey all-wheel drive. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, I'm glad you're here today. Hey. So now you get to see the 2011 Dodge Journey. Nice. One of the biggest differences that you're going to find underneath. Wait, hold on. Let me, get, let me back out here real quick. We know it's gorgeous. They'll see that in just all right, a minute. Now, now, all right, all right. Yeah, let's, now, show them the, let's show them the beast right. first. The so beast. One of the biggest complaints was that it was a little slow. Well, this year, the 2011 Dodge Journey has taken over the 3.6 liter Penstar engine, the same engine that's in the Grand Cherokee. Nice. Now you're getting almost 30% more horsepower this year in comparison to the 2010 and getting better gas mileage. Wait a minute. The they added horsepower and added you horsepower. Get and added gas mileage, so you're adding efficiency to this vehicle, which is, you, heard you it can't here. go wrong there. That's awesome. All right. So this is the all-wheel drive model. Wait, what um, kind of warranty we got now? Warranty is going to be a three-year, 36 bumper to bumper, okay. and a five-year, 100,000 on your powertrain, wow. engine, transmission, those components. That's awesome. All right, That's what fantastic. else we got, Nick? Um, so being this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, it gets almost 24 miles per gallon. Could be a little bit more, 24, 25 miles per gallon on the freeway with this all-wheel drive journey. Wow. All right. One of the other nice features to this is the brand new key this year. So they've actually come out with a nicer looking, more stylish looking key. It's awfully sleek. You're going you to you have your remote start built right into the, uh, the keypad here. Okay. Um, you're also going to have your uh, keyless entry built into here. And what I mean by that is, Dan, okay. when you walk up to the car, All right. you don't necessarily have to have the keys on you anymore. You can just leave the keys in your pocket. What? Oh, it, uh, there you go. Oh. You don't even have to have the key out anymore to unlock the door. You can just walk up to it. You actually don't even have to push the unlock button on the key anymore. Really? Same thing to lock it. Shut the door. Push the little same, the same button on the outside of the car. Just locks it right up. Locks the car for it. Wow. So. All right. In the journey, yep. um, you're going to get the third row option. All you have to do for the third row option is this little lever here. Okay. Once you do that, the seats will fold. You can slide these forward to get into the third row. So and then just slide just back. one flip of a switch and you can slide that forward. That's it. Nothing crazy That's like in the it. Traverse. It takes like two people to do it. You don't need two people. You don't need to pull seats out. You don't need to do anything. Just wow. one lever, slide it forward, slide it back. And wait, there's a, oh, there, there's a third seat back there. Correct. Very cool, Nick. Yep, very easy to get to the third row. Okay. One of the other nice features, let's say, Dan, you're out with kids. Yep. You got, a, you got a little camping trip going. You got built-in coolers right into the floor. Wow. Throw some ice, throw some drinks. Right in there, on both sides of this vehicle, you have two built-in little coolers. Very cool. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle, you're going to see the new Dodge logo. Um, we have the new Dodge logo on the front, we have the new Dodge logo on the back. They spread out the word. You're going to have the brand new LED lights built into here. Okay. And then on this model, you're actually going to have a backup camera as well, which I'll show earlier. Oh, okay. Okay, you'll show it. All right. Coming back here, to the back of the vehicle. You've got all of your space underneath. You've got your uh, jack underneath here as well. Flashlight. Once this car gets checked in, we'll put the flashlight in there, but okay. the flashlight charges right off the car battery. Oh, really? Okay. So, which is very nice. Both rows of seats fold down. Hey, show us how that happens. There's a little lever on the top of this seat. All right. All you're going to do, push it forward. Both seats. That's Except it, huh? that. One finger, throw it forward. Wow. Other seat will do the same exact thing, and you can lay both seats down. Um, so if you need to put anything really, really long in here, no uh, big deal. Wow, that's cool. Hey, wait, it's got uh, these little sensors back here too. Yes, it actually has the backup sensors as well. So if you're backing up into anything, on the, on the actual backup camera that I'll show you, it'll give you a green line, a yellow line, and a red line. Green is 10 feet. Yellow is four feet, red is two feet. So it'll kind of give you also a visual, not just a, an audible. Okay. One of the last neat little things I'll cover on this side is you also have another storage compartment built into this seat. Whoa, that's cool. For the vehicle. And being this is the crew, this has one of the limited edition white leather options. So it's a Blackberry on the outside, white leather with red stitching around the vehicle. That's so awesome. as you'll see, uh, one of the biggest changes in, in the new 11 products has really been the interior. Soft touch dash, soft touch materials all the way around, and unbelievable material on the seats. Wow, very cool. So why don't you jump in and show you the new all stuff right. on the inside. All right. 
Nice looking uh, touch screen to display there. This model has the 8.4 inch touch screen. All journeys have the new. And a little push button start there, huh? Has the new push button start. Nice. So with this vehicle itself, all of our controls can be controlled by the 8.3 inch touch screen or we've got the old analog controls. Oh wow. So if you want to change radio stations, all you're going to do FM, you can push over. Otherwise you can hit the tune button and you can tune it to your okay. favorite station this way. Or it'll also have voice command. I can push the button on the steering wheel as I'm driving and tell the radio station if I'm on satellite, it'll say tune to ESPN. I'll say tune to hits channel one, tune to country, whatever kind of music you want to listen to. Okay. Your navigation is also built into here. We have Garmin Nav this year. Okay. And pretty much in all the vehicles. Nice. Um, so it's not your standard car navigation. Everyone's very familiar with Garmin itself. Oh, yeah. Leading brand when it comes to navigational products. Um, Lighted cup holders, lighted dash, everything's kind of got that blue look going all the way around it. Yeah, it's real easy to see. Your phone can be connected to this vehicle. Um, now, Dan, I've had I've had people tell me, well, a phone's been able to be connected to the vehicle for the last three, four, or five years. Well, not only can your phone be connected, but also your text messages. And what I mean, this vehicle will actually read you your text messages back to you, as well as it'll send a text message for you. It has 20 preset wow. uh, settings built into it for you and it'll send those text messages out for you. So no more texting while you're driving. Nice, nice. Lots of safety stuff at hand so, here. All of your heated seats, all of your climate, everything can be controlled right here, which is really, really nice. All right. So Very cool. Very and one cool. of the last things that it's going to offer is the brand new Sirius Travel Link. So, for instance, if we wanted to check what gas prices were around us right now, it'll give us up-to-date listings as well as price as well as mileage. For instance, let's scroll down to Meyer. It'll give us the phone number as well as a go now button. So with the navigation built in, I can set this as a new destination. It's going to reroute us to that gas station at this moment. So we're flying down the highway, want to get gas, and it'll tell us where to go. It'll tell you right where to go. Nice. Another thing, we're out and want to watch a movie. It'll show you the nearest movie uh, studios. You'll click on it. It'll give you the phone number if you want to call. But why call anymore? Because now your movie listings are built right into the screen. Not only are the movie listings built in the screen, but you've got the ability to say, another year, I don't really know what that is. Let's hit the info button. It'll now give you a full synopsis, how long that movie is, a readable who's trailer. in the movie. Nice. Does everything but plays a trailer. Very cool. So not only does this vehicle get a huge change on the outside, brand new engine, phenomenal interior on the inside, the new backup camera. This vehicle is loaded this year with a, uh, a lot of yeah. options. Oh, yeah. Here's that uh, backup camera thing. That we're, oh, it's showing us the roof because we left the lift gate open. <laughs> <laughs> so the green lines will represent 10 feet, yellow 2 feet, or 4 feet, and then red 2 feet. Okay. All so, right. Wow, that's, that's, that's awesome. That's a full color display, too. Full color display, correct. Very cool. All right. Now, see, we got what's this uh, SD slot down here. SD slot, correct. If you have any uh, digital, if you just got done filming a kid's soccer game, you want to pop it in there, it'll not only show you pictures, but video right on the screen. Okay. And uh, just like in my BlackBerry, I got a 8 megapixel, or 8 uh, megabit, megabyte card in there. So I could pop that in there, and it's got all my info on there. Pictures Correct. and everything. Pictures, huh? music, whatever you got on there. Very cool. You're set to go. So. Awesome. All, all right. right. Well, cool. Um, I think that about covers it. That this is, is it. A, this is a pretty nice vehicle. That about covers it, but definitely, if you haven't, if you test driven an older journey, and you were like, uh... Eh, these new ones will blow you away. More efficient, more power, amazing ride, new suspension, new handling. It's a brand new vehicle. It's unbelievable. Cool. That's awesome. Hey, I appreciate your help, Nick. Right, you're welcome. And again, I'm Dan Welty for uh, Harold Ziegler in Granville. We'll see you guys next time.